Hello Power Users, Zbigniew Pukowski here and in today's episode we will be looking at parse text function in Power Automate desktop. We will be covering the function parts, we will be looking the var uh, on the variables which you can consume and which can you produce with this function. We will also talk a little bit about regex because this is a reminder in any text functions and we will give a real life example so stay tuned and let's start okay so here we are, have simple test flow with only one first function which is parse text and let's see how it's looking Let's, let's create, first of all, we can specify the text we have here. So let's say in the first example, I will just use three commas. Then if I want to text to find, I can do it in two different ways. First, I can just write text, which I have here, or you can use the variable. Let's first of all, let's go with text to find and just write, we are looking for one comma. So is regular expression we are selecting to know. We will get to this later. And we are starting at position zero, which means that we are starting from the first character, which is which has index zero. So uh, if I now select the first occurrence only, I will just find one first comma. So probably with index zero. So I, uh, so I don't want to select this. That's uh, in the and that's why the variable produce will be positions. If I select first occurrence only, I will have the position which will be a one number index, but uh, but it will create positions which will be a table of indexes. So let's let's save it and ignore cases because comma is not case sensitive. But if you uh, if you specify this. Uh, uh, depending on, on this selection, you can ignore or not ignore the case sensitive uh, text to find. So let's see how it looks. Let's run it. And in here on the right side, you see that the variable position uh, has three occurrences, which have, which uh, created a list. This is a list with indexes 0, 1 and 2 and items 0, 1 and 2 because uh, th this 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 matches because we have position 0, 1 and 2 uh, with the commas. So this is how it's working. Uh, I can do it the uh, other, uh, other way. I can, cr for example, here I have some Lauren Ipsum text with an order number. Let's copy this one. Let's use the clipboard function. Let's get clipboard text, which creates the variable a clipboard text, uh, those are in the case stores, this will be a variable. Let's do it. And in here, in text to parse, I can uh, press the X here and I can search my variables, which I can have the clipboard text, for example. And we can find the commas there. So let's save it. Let's try to run it. Positions, we have some positions, which probably are uh, our proper position of our text. We have commas in our text. So I believe that this will have the proper positions. You can see it's working. Let's see now the real life example. I assume that this is a kind of a, kind of a, in a email which I've got from the cost customer and I have the order number here. I will now want to find the order number in this email and based on the order number selection I want to proceed with one or, or the other way. If I have the order number then I will just put it into file uh, and if uh, I don't have the order number I will let's say put it in uh, without order number file and then I will try to answer for uh, answer to those emails. So first of all, I want to parse the text and use my clipboard text because in the clipboard text, I have what's in my note, notepad. Great. 
and then I want to find this number, but I don't know what number it is. It, it contains three mm, uppercase uh, letters and six numbers. So what I want to do, I've already in one of my uh, videos showed that to you that I'm using the regex. And this is my text. This is the regex I created. What does it do? It finds a character from A to Z with, in the, with the capital letters and the occurrence must be uh, three times. And then find any digit with the occurrence of six times. This is my order number. This was my client's order number, which is, which is this one. So this should match. I can copy this. The site is great. I recommend you if you want to learn regex, you, will, so you can create your own regex in no time. And then I want to select this reg regular expression. Yeah, and text to find. I will place my proper regular expression here. And uh, first occurrence only. No, let's find. No, you. you Actually, let's go first occurrence only because we will have the variable then. And let's go. Let's try it. Let's run it. Clipboard text. Oh, sorry. I forget that I've copied the, the, the regex. So I will just copy my clipboard, the proper text. And as you can see, it matched the, the order number. It was found in, in, in my... Um, in my text, the match was produced. And now what I would like to do with this is just go with the, where was it? Let's go with the loop. For reach, flow control. Now let's go with the conditionals and uh, uh, let's go with the if conditional. So if, if, uh, is not empty if the mar match was not empty then do something then i want to go with you and place it in the folder i i want to do the whole loop with you because it's rather a waste of time because this is just an example but if i found found then the order number then i've placed this in the the specific file uh, which I create with this order number. And if I don't, then I will place this email in uncategorized, um, uh, uncategorized file and to process and to find all order numbers then. And I can, for example, copy this order number from my, from my storage, etc. And to pro it's, it's really uh, making the um, answering to emails easier if I know that the, this order number was was in, in the in the email and I can work with this. So this is this is just a simple example how I can use parse text. What else is in this function? I think we've already mentioned everything. Yeah, we can also start parsing at specific position which could match uh, the the position which we, for example, find in the last function which we in which we used parse text. This is something which came uh, from the back of my mind. This this is really a sim a simple function. I hope you understand everything how to how to work with the parse text. So Zbigniew Pukowski out. If this was helpful, you can sub, like, etc. And uh, you can see my other videos. I have a lot of power platform, power apps, and power automated desktop videos. I hope, uh, which I hope that they are useful. See you. Bye.